Well, it's blowing. It's raining. It's raining right now, but not too bad. I got to crack them watches. Stand by. Let's start with the obvious first. This looks like a piece of bolt. Yep. Bolt or nut or something. Stand by a minute. I got to bring the trash can in here. I wasn't allowing for all that metal. So far, nothing of consequence. Looks like the top of a spoon, sort of like, or a fork or something, you know? Appears to be a piece of wire or something in a circle. Uh, this is a big fat one. I don't expect much of that one. Dicks, whatever it is. Just a piece of iron. That's a that's a, a washer with a Phillips head screw stuck in it. Now this is a really cool one. I don't expect it to be anything, but I like it. Up, I like it better than the rest of them. It was just some kind of aluminum crap clumped together. Oh, that takes care of that. Back to the drawing boards. Well, the weather is not holding, but it's not raining. So, I want to try uh, the button beats with all this wind to see if anything has come up. 
I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to get in any time, but I'm going to try it. You can see it's rough. And I'm heading that way. See if I can get in an hour. My buddy's ready to go. He said, Daddy, Daddy, let's go, let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Stand by for a button beat. Don't get run over here. People are crazy. I got the Bigfoot today, since I'm not going to be here long. May not be the right color, but it's a ticket. Forty minutes, we got our first target. I don't like it. A man sitting there. <laughs> this is a radar trap right here, boy, I tell you. Here it is, your new ball. You ready? Where the hell are you going? We just got here. Bring that ball out here. Come on. No. Come on. Come on, Finicky. That's the first. Pick his ball up, run right in the house with it. <laughs> Maybe he don't like the ground being wet on his feet or something to play. That's a, uh, this is the first time I've ever seen him do that. Maybe he was waiting for his buddy over here. He was embarrassed to see him playing. Well, while we were out messing around in the sand, we got a package. I think you're going to like it. it. Says it's from Stormy Cromer in Michigan, 1903. Mmm. Stand by. I already know this is a hat. My buddy uh, James King sent it to me. I, I presume he's from Michigan, but I don't know that. I know the hat's from Michigan. Call a yupper hat. Come out of there, Tiquito. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. That's like a, a Wrangler star hat. Got earmuffs on it. Red in color with black. Yeah, man. This looks like a Tiquito. Look at that. True since 19. See if I can get that out of there. George Stormy Kramer. He's a semi pro baseball player. A raised engineer kept tired of being his hat to the winter. Winter win. So he asked his wife to sew some flaps on his baseball cap. Hundred years later, we got it, guaranteed for life. It's like a, it's like a stealth scoop. Okay, stand by, because I'm gonna take the labels off of it. You know, there's a lot of people nowadays that leave the labels on their hats, but I'm not one of them kind. <laughs> Let's see how this thing works on the ears. Stand. I could have used this today, believe it or not. As windy as it was down there. Keep my ears warm. All righty. Just a couple of weeks and I'll be into, into this baby. Thank you, James. She's a fine taquito.